What is the difference between a recovery run and an easy run? It's really important when you get into running and there's interval sessions, there's long runs, there's endurance, there's speed, there's hill reps, lots of different sessions. It's very important to differentiate and also simplify what you mean or what your coach means by recovery run and by easy run because there's a slight difference but it's a very important difference to get right and to build the habit of doing a recovery run properly and doing an easy run properly so that you get your most out of the sessions where it really counts. And that's the interval session where you're building speed, speed endurance, and the long run at the weekend usually because that's where you've got most time where you're building endurance and stamina. The recovery runs and the easy runs are important because they are what will give you the consistency to the bigger sessions. So if you look at a 13-week training program, and let's say you've got a three-week taper if you're running a marathon or a half marathon, that means 10 weeks of dedicated key sessions. That means 10 long runs and 10 interval sessions, 20 sessions. And if you get 16 of the 20 to 80% of those correct, you do them well to pace or to effort, you're in PB shape, ready for your race. But in order to get to that PB shape, you need to respect and do the recovery runs and easy runs at the right effort level and at the right pace in order to make them work to accelerate your recovery ready to go fast or ready to go far. This is how I do it. Okay, so what am I looking for here? The differences between the recovery run yesterday and the easy run. Very similar runs, just under 45 minutes each. What am I looking for? First of all, what am I trying to achieve? This is what my week looks like vast majority of the time. Very, very simple, midweek intervals, weekend long run. I need a rest day, and I always recommend you have a rest day in the week. I need a rest day after the interval session, and it goes recovery, easy, long run, recovery, easy intervals. Simple as that. And this is only possible every week, and the training schedule is only possible, if my sleep is good, my stress is reduced, and it's for me, it's one and two just like that. For some of you, it might be stress is the most important, but for me, if I have good sleep, my stress is reduced, and the hydration and diet next. Now, in order to see these side by side, you've got this. So exactly 44 minutes and 40 seconds each. And so the recovery run, versus today's easy run, I've been able to cover more distance and run quicker for the same effort. And if we're looking at heart rate down here, yesterday's recovery run, 139. Today's recovery run, an average of 138. It's the same temperature, feels like 39. It's bloody hot out there, but I'm used to it. And it's just a case of going slow enough so that the effort feels low enough and it is low enough because I know what the heart rate's doing. It's more important to wear the heart rate monitor for these recovery runs and easy runs than it is for me to wear it on an interval day or a long run when I'm putting in an effort because I know when I'm pushing. I can't speak or I can't get out full sentences. Whereas this, I need to make sure that my body's recovering optimally. And this is what I'm looking at. So yesterday, the recovery run was after a long fart leg run. So I did one hour 25 with five minutes running uphill and five minutes flat. And it was all fasted, so it really took it out of me, a little bit more than it should have. So I knew that this was going to be a tentative recovery run, and I took it easy. First 500 meters walking, which is not on here, and then gradually I started to run. Super slow first kilometer. Just to give you an idea, my marathon pace is three minutes 20 per kilometer. This is nearly double at six minutes per kilometer. I'm not bothered about the pace. What I'm bothered about is the effort is low enough. And even though this is 139 for the recovery run yesterday, it did go towards the end at 151, 152. I don't like that. The game I'm trying to play on the easy run is bridging the gap between recovery run and the next interval session. So naturally, the, the recovery run has worked and I feel a bit fresher for this easy run. And so I'm able to cover more distance and I'm able to improve the pace. The effort stays the same, 11 relative effort, says on Strava, for less heart rate, an average of 138. 
So I'm moving in the right direction. And so tomorrow's interval session is possible because I've been able to do the recovery run well and I've been able to do the easy run well. So by pacing your recovery runs and then your easy runs a little bit quicker because you're fresher and you're able to put in a little bit more effort or get more speed for the same level of effort, but keep it low, keep it easy. It should be probably easier than what you think it is. Initially, it will be uncomfortably slow. With most runners, if you bring back in effort the recovery run and the easy run, you leave your ego at home, there's no gold medal for the fastest easy run or the fastest recovery run. It's all about recovering optimally, enhancing the recovery so that you can really push on interval day and you can really push on long run day. And it's actually the recovery runs and the easy runs that will give you the consistency that you need over the training schedule to push where it really counts, to get the most super compensation, to get the most improvement. So that over the months, over the weeks and months, you build yourself into a completely different athlete who's ready to go fast on one morning, on one day, at the end of the training schedule. If you think about the attention that goes into the race, about how much we think about nutrition, how much we think about the taper and freshening up the legs. So we've got that zip, that freshness in the legs to go fast on race day. If we gave just a fraction of that attention to the interval sessions and the long run sessions that we have over the training schedule, and we focus on hitting 80% of those and getting them right, the way that we do that is to give rest day the respect it deserves, to give recovery run the respect it deserves and to give the easy run the respect it deserves and if that means that we feel if we feel tight if we feel sore and stretching stopping and stretching dynamic stretching is not doing it for us on recovery because we push too hard in the interval session and that means having an extra extra recovery run day then so be it that will help you build the consistency over the training plan in order to set yourself up for success for the race day I hope you got something from that, and I hope it clarified the difference between the recovery run and the easy run. If you have any questions about those runs, pop them in the comments below.